Hey everyone, welcome to our first art school online where today we're going to make crazy face. So what you're going to need today is to get a stack of coloured paper. It could be any old scrap paper that you have lying around the house or coloured paper that you can buy from the craft store, a glue stick, some scissors and a pencil. So the first thing you need to do is think about all the features on your face. You've got eyes, you have a nose, you have a mouth, you have ears, but also think of the things you wouldn't first think of, like your cheeks, your chin, your forehead, your hair, and think of all the things you can think of and make a list in your head. Once you've thought of all of your shapes that are on your face, you need to start drawing them on your coloured cardboard. Try and draw each feature on a different coloured paper and try and do them all different sizes. You might want to draw a really big nose and you also might want to draw on a different colour a really small nose. The more shapes that you get now, the funnier and more crazier your mask is going to be at the end. Now you're going to go ahead and cut out all of the different shapes on all of the different papers and remember if you're struggling to use your scissors, ask an adult that's with you. Don't forget to draw one big shape that will end up being the shape of your head that you'll stick all of your facial features onto. It doesn't need to be perfect, but you might want to think about how big your head is and try and make it the same size. Now this is the fun part where you get to start to rearrange all of the shapes that you've cut out and place them on your head. And this is where you can really make the person that you're creating look happy, look sad, look scary, or look extra crazy. Once you're happy with how your crazy face is looking, you can go ahead and start sticking down with your glue stick all of the pieces on the back piece of cardboard. And then once you're finished with your crazy face and it's all stuck down, stick the whole head onto a back piece of cardboard. You might want to use a cardboard box or any big sheet of cardboard and cut around the outside of the whole face. And there you have it, that's your crazy face. And don't forget that you can download all of the instructions on a PDF, including some inspiration about shapes and other artists that use these techniques on the Broken Hill Regional Art Gallery website.